Hello Novar friends, welcome to Captain's TV. Back again with Captain's TV this time. This will present a film entitled Rise of the Put Shoulder T2 Fenjin Ziang. Released in 2023 this film. Tell me about a former boss. Wannabe gangsters and drug dealers. Revenge after his adopted son. Killed very cruelly you will. Witnessed a lot of brutality. Which is boastful and guaranteed not to be. Boring so without lingering any longer. Prepare your eyes, ears and so and so. All of you let's watch and here it is. Rise of the Putsader. 1. The film begins with a robbery. Which is very tense but something goes wrong. One robber whose mask was revealed. By security officers because he panicked. He accidentally shot the officer. At the same time the police. Already near the second bank. The robber immediately ran away. So you can't even chase it. Avoided, and when passing through the streets. Which quieted the two robbers suddenly. Stopped then one of them. Beat the police up. Passed out here finally revealed that. The brutal robber was Patrick Ted. A cowboy banderner at the same time. The most feared gangster of his time in. But lately he's been doing it more often. Work alone and sometimes accompanied. By his friends thun named. Kenny unfortunately Kenny is always acting. Careless like before and often mate. Patrick is angry and for the case. Patrick was even more angry at the robbery earlier. Than usually because they just. Get even more change. Kenny will likely become a fugitive. After his face was completely revealed. Patrick was so angry that he threw it. Iron suitcase towards Kenny. Patrick immediately felt guilty. He already considers Kenny whatever. Like his own son but Kenny. Did not respond to his apology and. Go straight away while taking care of it. Kenny's bloody nose later. Met a bank officer who. Became an informant for the robbery. For some reason, Kenny is seen here. Very violent but in front of Patrick. Actually like Sony Wakewa Wakewa. Kenny then told the officer to. Get rid of all evidence of the robbery. Including silencing security officers. Who had time. The bank officer immediately shot him. Went to the hospital to persuade C. Security guard not to talk. To the police but unfortunately he had. Already told the police that Kenny is the perpetrator. Robbery. At the same time Kenny is seen. Visited a dimly lit stall. To meet his friend named. Billy the kid he is a comic. Who often cosplays as Lucinta Luna. Billy the. Kid after Billy finished Kenny's gig. Then he immediately approached him. Invite teenagers to take responsibility for it. Doing a job that is haram because. He needs money to open a business. Narco boys under the guise of a PSL stall. Even though he is still young, Billy. Is the son of a gangster. So he gets used to things. Dangerous to new. Opportunities the next day Patrick. Visited fellow drug dealers. Named David doesn't use gadgets or. Better known as Samity. He is a big mafia. Who is considered the most powerful in the city. He is also a person who. Supplies powder for Patrick's business. But this time Patrick failed to pay. Magic powder money for his robbery. It ended in chaos, he promised. Would pay double if Samity. Want to help him with capital. Samity of course agrees. The proposal, but if it fails then. He will ruin lives. Patrick is a young woman named. It was Churley who approached Samity and didn't. It was God he was dead at. Samity's excitement is of course not Samity. Want to lose to Grandfather Sujano who already. Throw but can still play throw. Javelin I mean yes on the other side Kenny. Met Patrick's friend Sam. Just like Patrick he is also a. A gangster drug dealer in. The owner of Warung Soto here Kenny wants. Borrow money from him as capital. The beginning of opening a business with Billy. Coincidentally, Sam still has money. Entrusted to him by his father so Kenny can do it. Use that money first. Last night Kenny visited. Billy's father's boxing training ground. Whose name is Fergus is different from. Previously, Billy was actually seen here. Very violent during boxing practice. Apparently he was forced by Fergus. To be his successor as. The most brutal gangster in the city. 
When this came, Billy immediately finished. The practice, because they have to go to. Somewhere, but F Gus looks like it's not. Like. Clap. Kenny in another place Patrick meets. With Samity in a very quiet place. And here it provides capital for. Selling narcotics, and if Patrick fails. Get 4,000 then he will. Killed in the cruelest way. Who knows how to do it in the meantime Kenny. And Billy comes to a class mafia. Snapper named Mo, or Common. Called Pejo, he really isn't. Looks fierce but he is famous for. The cunning of this mafia descendant from Nganju. Also has a large stock of narcotics. And quality so Kenny intends. To buy supplies from him but when. The transaction will be carried out arriving. Arrived the next day Kenny was found. Already died in a funfair ride. It finally reached my ears. Patrick suddenly left. To the morgue to accompany his mother. Kenny is also his best friend. Not long after two policemen came. Asked Kenny's mother to see the body. His son directly but because. Finally he was not able to be represented. By. Patrick. In the morgue Patrick saw. The body is now full of stabs. Whoever did this must be them. Is a very brutal person after. The two policemen suddenly asked. To Patrick is he involved in. Joint robbery Kenny with. Patrick carefully answered that he was. Didn't know anything about robbery. Which. Intended. Patrick then accompanied Mrs. Kenny in. His house while reminiscing about the past but. Not long ago there was a jammet. Named Joey who visited them. Apparently Joey is Patrick's old friend. Which often creates problems and here. Patrick still looks annoyed with him. Jam it, and almost beat him in the face. Kenny's mother even though Joey just wants to. Pronounce B. Condolences Patrick then asked if. Joe knows who the perpetrator was who decided to kill. Kenny Joey also said that he was. Didn't know anything, and he admitted that he had. Retire from the world of bullying. After Patrick locked him in a cage. Dog a few years ago, and P. That's what made his face ruined but. To avenge Kenny Joey is ready. Help him find the perpetrator here. Patrick looks very ambitious too. Slaughter everyone involved. In murder. That night, Kenny Patrick came to the place. Sam because Sam is the last person. Who contacted Kenny but when he arrived. There is a guard there who. Blocked him so did Patrick. Immediately brutalized at that time. Also Patrick then tells Sam. That Kenny had died in. The culprit has not been revealed yet. Now hearing that Sam also joined in. Condolences, he then invited. Patrick to meet Kenny's father. Named John does not use IQ7N. Now Kenny's father is undergoing. Prison sentence in Gyunung Kijol. Upon arrival duo Lyopas Patrick immediately. Apologized to John because of him. Couldn't keep Kenny with. Well Sam then explained to John. That there was one person he suspected. And that person is Billy the kid. He thinks Billy has trapped Kenny. Moreover. His father was a gangster. Who was quite violent when he heard his son. When John died. He could only cry. Also asked Patrick to take responsibility. Answer because after all people. Who brought Kenny into the world. Gangster is who he is while John. Sad that suddenly there was a prisoner who. Laughed as if he didn't appreciate it. Kenny John's death was immediate. Went berserk and beat the prisoner. Until the round. Battered after visiting John that evening. Patrick immediately visited the place. F. Gus's show practice for the UK. Looking for his son's room but unfortunately. The father and son were not there. There Patrick then asked. One of the boxing trainers but not. Answered well the trainer actually. Underestimate Patrick because he feels. Patrick immediately underestimated him. Take the mine and strangle the trainer. That very much. Brutal thanks to Patrick's brutality. Finally the coach wanted to tell him. Fergus address on the other side of Sam it is. Have a meeting with someone. Bald assassin who knows what. They're talking about but it looks like Sam Eddie. He was involved in Kenny's murder too. Ordered the assassin to. Stand by because Sam Eddie wants to kill. Patrick if failed returns. Capital at the same time. Cherry or lie secretly breaks into the safe. Sam Eddie's to take a. Documents and a few wads of money though. 
Almost got caught but Charlie was able to distract Samity by his coolness apart from that he too managed to pickpocket the paper inscribed with the bald killer's number on. Here we don't know who this woman is. Actually but what is clear is that he has separate plans to drain wealth. Samity the next day Patrick was seen went to a junkyard. Turns out to be the headquarters of his gang. Fergus without further ado Patrick straight away asked about Billy's whereabouts. Because he couldn't wait to. Even Fergus didn't accept beating him. With his scolding and ordering the children. The fruit to destroy the car. Patrick saw that Patrick immediately beat up all of Fergus men with very music. Brutal. But when the excitement suddenly happened, the police came. They then persuaded them. Patrick wants to come to the police station and explain all the problems is happening apart from that the two police. It also looked for Billy's figure who arrived. I haven't found them yet. Asked Fergus to cooperate with police and immediately handed over the child. But after the police left Fergus did it. Ordered his men to find him. Billy before the police so that only children. The puppet can do it. Patrick was punished in a short story. Taken to the police station for question besides being accused of robbing him. Also accused of murder. Kenny of course he denied both these accusations and because the police did not finally have strong evidence Patrick was released again. After leaving the police station, Patrick asks Joey for help. Took him to the Soho sub district. Was in the city of London he wanted. Went to a suspected cafe. Was once Billy's workplace but when he got there he was contacted by Sam Itty is the one who collects the payment money. The narco boy because he was busy looking. Billy Patrick also borrowed 100 from proceeds from sales of magic powder. Joey did then he went into in the shop and asked about Billy and one of the employees work at. There is that boy's good friend. Employees are also forced to give one address to Patrick out of fear. Ganged up by brutal gangsters. When leaving the cafe, Patrick saw Joey's movements. Suspiciously he seemed to go inside. Pejo's bar which is the place at where Kenny brutally murdered Patrick. Those who were suspicious followed him to the inn and it turns out Joey is cooperating with Pejo's minions however. Unfortunately Patrick doesn't know much about Pejo's business so he couldn't. Concluded nothing not long after. He is driven away by Pejo and his men. Outside the bar he gets a call. Mysterious who told him to go to. A place for people to contact him. Admitted that he had information. About death. Kenny is elsewhere Charlie meets. Come first before the subordinates. Pejo. But Patrick finally decided to. Talk nicely because of Billy's aunt. Who put up a body for his nephew and. It seems that Patrick has a crush on the widow. That's Billy's short story. The incident that he remembered at that time was his intention. They want to buy magic powder from Pejo but unfortunately Pejo only want their money as a result para. Jamit ties them up in a secret room. Billy is tied to a chair while Kenny hung like a new cow. Being slaughtered did not appear long afterward. One person Jamit is mysterious however. Billy couldn't see his face. Meanwhile, he actually recognized Kenny. Jamit then brutalized him. Pejo's men torture Kenny and tear him apart. Tore his body with a knife until he was. Died. Pathetic. After listening to Billy's story. Patrick couldn't wait to reply. Revenge in the cruelest way possible. Then asked Billy to take him to. Kenny's murder scene at that time. Together with the police and Fergus. Also started to move to capture. Patrick short story Billy finally arrived at the place he was going there. He pretended to be drunk too. Tricked the door guards then. When the guard was off guard he immediately beat him up. Fainted after that Billy opened the door so Patrick can get in but it's on. Here Patrick tells Billy to hurry up. Left because he wanted to brutalize. Alone in there Patrick straight away pointed a gun at one of the children. Pejo fruit jam it to save lives. Patrick Patrick also thanked him. To him then chased after Joey who. Billy wanted to run away in the meantime. Must be willing to lose his father. 
died because he ran out. The blood on Joy's other side was very visible. Scared because Patrick really is. He was so angry he seemed possessed by a spirit. John Wick's very revenge. Terrifying. Unfortunately, Joe managed to escape by bus. And Patrick's gout started to flare up. Again the next day the police searched. Patrick's house because he's official. Become a fugitive for all brutality. Which he had been doing in the meantime. Patrick meets Sam to borrow money. 100 plans he wants to go outside. Country to kill to Kimin and Pejo. Still. Life. A few days later the police found him. Joey's corpse is in the trunk of what turns out to be a car. Killed by Sam he died with. Covered in blood indicates that he is. Tortured first before him. Killed while Patrick lurks. To Kimin and Pejo are doing business. In Gyunung Kijol not only that, he too. Intends to finish off Samity. Now working with both. Ajane it, but unfortunately we don't. Can see the scene because. The film ended very well. Hang this film teaches us. To be loyal to a friend as stupid and stupid as you are. Whatever our friends are, they must always be. Defended I know many of you are. Have good friends but their IQ is squat. That's all for today. Representing the salted fish lover community. Say goodbye in the video. Next and thanks assalamualaikum. Warm